Oh, <laughs> fucking <laughs> what? <laughs>
I have dirty hair now. Dirty hair. Yeah. Dirty hair. My favorite Clint Eastwood uh, thing. Book. <laughs> movie. Book? Dirty hair. Do you feel... Okay. Yep. kids be mean to a you few james. kids were mean to me yeah james uh for to answer and they were mean uh, to some random ginger's question james is in fact still a yeah, choo-choo dude I'm still there i'm still a weekend train conductor kids are being mean to him i got mean kid what did they what did they say they they did they make fun of did they make fun of this what's they, going on here they made me punch their tickets more Oh, oh, because I do the Polar Express thing yeah, where you yeah, go, yeah. And, yeah, and I'm really good at it. They may wait more as in like just a bunch more punches. The kid was like, hey, punch it more. And I was like, what? I don't want to punch it more. <laughs> it was like older, too. Susan swept away in the magic of this moment. Dude, <laughs> like, I was working the door at Ground Control a few weeks ago mm -hmm. and there was this dude that kept coming back and being like give me more stamps i need more <laughs> yeah. stamps on my arms i need more stamps and then his friend would come up and be like can i have another stamp and then he would come up and be like no don't give him any more stamps <laughs> i get all the stamps Such a, what do you do uh well he kept giving me tips so i kept stamping oh him. that's good <laughs> that's fun that's... <laughs> i'm glad that uh, that works out yeah you're getting tipped yeah, he's, getting he's, tips left and right. He's, that guy dropped 25 bucks <laughs> on me putting free stamps on his that's arm. That's awesome. That's great. And then the kid was mean to Santa, too. And then he... Yeah. Oh, no. What mm -hmm. did he do to Santa? He saw Santa out of costume. Like, he, he uh -oh. I recognized uh -oh. this big guy walking to the back of the train with his Santa suit in, like, this little duffel bag. <laughs> Well, that's the mistake. Don't call them out. Don't take off the suit before the train ride's over. Well, this is how a train show works: is you have to have a Santa on the back of each car, so they work towards the middle of the I train, see. and then and that's how the mat. That's well, they should have a car. <laughs> they should have a car right in the middle of the train that's just for Santas. That's how it's Santa's been done. Only, baby. We have a green room car. <laughs> that's the middle. But oh, you didn't have a green and room we car because we're selling wow. it out. They're trying to pack people in. The Ugh. cops came They're for trying a mask to pack people fight. In. <laughs> it was horrible. Honestly, yeah. hey, look. Honestly, terrible. Uh, welcome to the world's hottest goss. This is where this it's the show that we're on mm -hmm. right now. Yep. Oh, I don't have purple hair now. I have. It's still green. It's mm -hmm. just uh, I have a hat on. Uh, those. Those are. The, these are the big answers to the big questions. Oh, from world's hottest goss. Dave missed the Patreon show. Uh, quick recap: We say Bigazinga now. Oh yeah, that's, that's most ours. of it. Yeah, that's no, ours. No, not only we don't just say it now; we've mm -hmm. always said it. Because you tripped and fell. Yeah. Well, I slipped. You I fell slipped. on my tush. Yeah. Uh, you well, look, you gotta listen mm -hmm. to the. <laughs> yep. It makes a lot more sense if you listen to it. They tried anyway, to harvest Clancy's is... earwax for anal <laughs> lubricant. It's our it's our thing. Bazinga is our and thing. It's always been Bazinga our thing. Bazinga started. Yeah, that's ours. It's always been our thing. We say that. Anybody else who has said it stole it from us. Bazinga. Bazinga. Okay, look, folks, what's, we got we got the a theme. theme. Look at this, big dogs, baby. Whoa, Ooh, whoa. arf arf. Woof. Rough, rough, rough. I I say that I sometimes I woof at the moon. Oh, the you woof moon. at it? Yep. You look at the moon, you go woof. Meow. Woof. <laughs> What's the meow for? Just because sometimes it's like a lot of animals. Oh, so oh, you so you're like one of those uh like farm animal, <laughs> yeah, things for kids. Yep. You look up the moon, you go woof. Yep. Meow. Ooh. <laughs> you evolve. Yeah. Or in the human. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Is that that's the human sound? <laughs> hey, you moon. A guy. <laughs> hey, what the? It's the moon. It's a <laughs> What yep. are you doing up there, Moon? Mm -hmm. You gotta quit it, there, Moon. Look, uh, we got we got correspondence on the show. Big dog correspondence. Big dog correspondence, baby. Oof, okay. Oof. Row. Oof. Row. Row. Oof. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. 
Uh, not, <laughs> hey, and it's not like that uh, stale, snail mail bullshit. You ever heard of that? Fuck that. Nope. It's not. It's like on the news and the, the news correspondence. How do you do? Hey, how do you do a news theme song? Oh, wait. Oh, I like. Bah, bah, da, bah, dum, do. Yeah, there, there we go. Bah, bah, da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. So, here, here you go. Pl- hey, uh, please welcome our uh, senior big dogs correspondent. Bring him uh, out. Bring him out. Milan Patel. <laughs> here he comes. Hey, just oh. a second, guys. Just sending off a quick email. Yep. Oh, yeah. So sure. I- absolutely. It's really sorry. We just had a bunch of orders come in because it's the holidays. No worries. I mean, I, I'm sure this is a really busy time of year for you. Yes. Uh, what with really... the, the big dog yes. holiday. Okay. I and think. send. Okay. Sorry. Sorry if about that. How are you? Guys? could be considered the big dog holiday, it is Christmas. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think our numbers, uh, I should say who I am. I actually. I'm the CEO of the Big Dog T-Shirt Corporation. Well, I should say Big Dog Clothing. We do more than T-shirts now. But oh, um, <laughs> I've only seen the T-shirts. What else do you do? I think if I hide my head, you can see some of the stuff, actually. You can see sure. that we do underwear. We do shorts. We do... Oh. I think we have the so miscellaneous a section. Mm-hmm. Underwear for if you want a big dog on your big dog? Yeah, that's a little crass for the type of stuff that we do, but we don't uh, generally. All right. We don't generally. We stay. No, no, no. It's okay. We just ge- we generally stay away from referring to the penis or the vagina. Okay. Yeah. So or what, the what asshole. You, what? What? What is? <laughs> we generally. There's one thing that I always refer to as a big dog. It's my asshole. <laughs> yeah, that's just kind of like a Saint Bernard, right? The same, yeah. yeah, that's just not kind of that's kind of not the humor. We're a little bit more fam. I think that kind of stuff's funny, but uh, we're a family friendly <laughs> company, so we stay away from that kind of dirty, dirty kind of comedy. We stick to like kind of fun, silly kind of sure, stuff. Like, can you give um, us like a for instance of like what's your what's your favorite big dog T shirt that you got going? Oh, um, I think our we have like just one of the classics right now is just like uh, it's literally just you can look this up on the website, but um, it just has a dog on it and it says I'm a big dog and it's it's just a dog on it and I think that's sure. there's that, no joke there, but it's like a classic one that I really that like. Is, I mean, mm-hmm. well, I mean the joke could be like because we all know that you're not a dog because you're wearing a a human T-shirt, right? And that's yes, that, that's that's kind of funny. That's a big part of like where our humor comes from. It's kind of like dogs in situ. It's kind of like we took that concept of the dogs playing poker and we we sure. thought there's a lot more that dogs could be doing yeah. The, yeah. in human situations and we just kind yeah. of ran with it. I started this company in 83 um, with one of my buddies who's now deceased, <laughs> not alive anymore. Oh, um, man. I've been um, big dog heaven yeah um and he, you know we we miss him a lot um my friend charlie and um I, he's a dog actually i started it with a dog oh <laughs> and um we actually just a little bit of before i get into it i actually we're sponsoring the show this week i don't see that you guys are wearing the shirts that we sent you um oh, they didn't they didn't come in have a, we, yeah. we didn't they didn't come time. in Okay, yeah. I checked the tracking order and it said that they were delivered by um, DHL. So, not sure. Oh well, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't be, get them. Look, it might be to our our PO box, which is uh, a little like I don't always get a chance to check the PO box. Oh. oh okay. Well, that's a shame. Yeah. You know sorry. How that's works. We're both yeah. businessmen. No, no. Yeah, absolutely. I understand sometimes there's a shipping issue or whatever, but it would have been nice to see you guys rocking the tees. But it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, and if you want, we can try and insert as much sort of like uh, like promotional material into the show as possible. Does is that? Well, I'll definitely go over our new line of shirts with you guys. I have just some. I wish I could show you the photos, but I'll kind of describe them for you. Sure. Uh, yeah. And I'm. I wish I could have been there. I'm. I'm sorry. I. I did get sick, so uh, I couldn't. I couldn't be there physically with you guys. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, I got a. Yeah, I got a. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got a variant of the uh, Omnicron. Um, I got the Omnicron Two, which is actually oh. it's out. It's, um, it I sounds just like it's to... better to me. Two, that's more than one. <clears throat> it's um, I've, I'm spending a lot of time on the toilet. Let's just say so. I I wouldn't I and I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. 
You but know that's what? all. A lot of time on the toilet. Sign me up, brother. Oh, you like that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, and and just for the record, I do want to say I'm still our company's stance is that we are still anti-vaccine, um, and we do not support uh, the mask mandates, and we we support freedom. We support um, big okay. dogs I... take, taking taking uh, I... matters into their own hands. I do okay. want to say you don't you don't support the masks, but I do want to point out I was on your website earlier. You do sell big dogs masks. We, yeah, no, we sell the masks, um, but we don't support the mandate. We don't think that a big dog should have to wear a big dog mask if the big dog doesn't want to wear a mask. That's basically the idea. And and there are a little bit there are some politically charged anti Biden uh, masks on there. So um, if you if you want to look them up. Uh, you know, just just I want to tell people what my stance is uh, on that okay. matter. That. Yeah, I, it is important that everybody mm-hmm. uh, immediately out of the gate shares their stance on this show. Is and wearing do, a mask and, mm-hmm. is wearing a mask kind of a small dog move? Yeah, it's a it's a totally small dog move. It's 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 almost mm-hmm. like a it's like a cat move, honestly. Which is uh you know obviously the worst insult that we could give around the office here. And uh, in our company culture, um, cats, that, that's actually one of the masks is it says a cat would wear this mask. It's like a joke, basically, like <laughs> this mask is for cats. And then there's like a big there's dog a behind it, like <laughs> behind it, like about to like beat the shit out of the cat. Yeah, it's how, a lot. How do you rank like animals as a whole? Like where do like dogs are obviously big dogs, number one. And then cats are how far down? Like where, I, where do you put like an iguana? Well, that's, it's not really, we don't generally like, we not like, to, to be honest, we have kicked around ideas of other animals, like putting other animals. Uh, but it's hard because like, I, I would say we go for more like powerful animals like gorillas or like we tried doing sure. big gorilla. Um, but then we got but sued I mean, by gor- already pretty big. No, yeah, that was kind of the issue. It's like um, most gorillas are pretty big already, so it's a little redundant. But I mean, I, I, I don't think there's any. Anyway, it wasn't really about that. It was just like we got sued by uh, Gorilla Glue because they we used a very oh, similar yeah. logo to them, yeah. which Gorilla I thought Glue, notoriously very pro mask. Yeah, they 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 like want you to glue the damn mask onto your face. That's what they would like, just so they could sell yeah. more glue. They don't want germs to go anywhere ever. No, yeah, no, <laughs> exactly. Um, All right. So, did you want to? Did you want to share some of your new designs? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'd love to. Um, <clears throat> and I just want to say that we're in the middle of a lawsuit with George Lucas because I don't know if you know anything about our company, but our bread and butter for, for like a long time has been Star Wars. Uh, sure. based yeah. humor you know it's been you like know, parodies Han like Han Solo, but with a big dog head yeah and Paul Solo the gun and he's like uh you know never never tell me the dogs yeah there's a, mm-hmm. yeah it's like epi- epi- episode th- three sure. um whatever the whatever that one was like revenge, revenge of, of the uh revenge of the piss or whatever yeah exactly <laughs> yeah i mean that's our ver- uh, you know that's our version um so we're actually it sucks for the holidays because those were such big sellers and we're not able to sell those anymore but yeah. we've kind of gone into a little bit of a different direction with ours um because again we are really you know we're, we we believe in talking about our politics and not shying away from that stuff so we are ha- we're doing a special one for uh january 6th that we're selling right now um oh, yeah it's going to have a bunch of dogs storming the Capitol, and it's going to say okay. January 6th, the infraction. Oh, fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think yeah. it's going to be, it's already selling like crazy. Like people are like really. Like hotcakes. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, we have another one that's another, it's like a kind of military dog guy, and he's standing on a wall, uh, and it's it says Border Patrol. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's and classic. so that's, yeah and there's classic. like a Surprise american flag yeah no no this is like we we had we had uh we had some that were like ice agents like dogs that were like ice agents <laughs> and then it's like the the kids are in the cage instead of the dogs you know what i mean which okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah yeah 
Do you get the joke that the dog is out yeah, of the cage yeah. and the kid is in the cage? <laughs> the picture. Yeah, yeah. So we had those, but we didn't have the but the pun, the border patrol. That was that's new. Um, and then uh, other than just the political ones, we have you have you seen those shirts that are like that would be like this grandpa doesn't let anyone near their granddaughter. He, you know, he's a vicious fighter. He he will find you and and find your address and kill you if you even look one way at his daughter. We have some of those yeah. like with a dog that's yeah, like it's just a dog. It's just I, it's just I'm, stay away from my daughter. That's pretty much it. But yeah. Like I'm a I'm an October dad. I've I've got fire in my soul and a mouth I can't control, that sort of thing. Yes, yes, exactly. Um but then again, like well, imagine the dog there just yeah, to add add the image of like a person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of well, some of I the think, new stuff I think that we're those doing. Are gonna be great sellers. Oh, I think people are gonna lose lose their fucking tents it's over. A very it. exciting yeah. line. Yeah. Again, it would have been it would have been great. I uh, James, I sent the inf- the uh, January six infrarection one in your size. It would have oh. been really nice to see you rocking. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, I, I, that's that sounds fresh. I'll, I'll yeah. definitely I'll definitely search for it in the mail and see. See if I can see if I can get a hold of those shirts. I'll email uh, you the the tracking number, and you yeah, go to the DHL the tracking, website. And then I'll make sure. And then you go they, like get to the post office, and then they bounce back to like the the previous post office. And they this one didn't. And this one didn't. I checked actually like pretty recently. <laughs> All right. I know. Like, I know. I know what you're talking about, and this one didn't actually. <laughs> Just for clarity's sake um yeah but sorry 20 percent off you can see it behind me 20 percent off for three or more items um great stocking stuffers um make yeah. sure that you you know you buy this stuff for your friends and family because this is these things are classics they'll never go out of style um this is something oh, that this is something that you're gonna want to buy in like an extra extra large because eventually your son is gonna get old and fat, and you know you want it. To, you want this to be something that you wear. Man, I've got some uncles who would love these shirts. Yeah, Just really love them. Uh, thank Seth, you. Seth has a couple. Seth, oh yeah, Seth, mm-hmm. friend of the show. Friend Seth, of the show. Alan, yeah, mm-hmm. love love those things. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you so much, Milan, for joining us. Thank you yeah. for telling us about your new shirts. This was uh, chill. Well, this was, this was yeah. super chill. No, yeah, you guys are totally. And I'm a I'm a California guy. My company's based in Santa Barbara, and I'm like a surfer dude. I I I totally feel that stuff. I believe in uh I believe in just you know keeping yeah. your rights, and I I believe that everybody should be the master of their own fate. Um, and you know I think Biden is just like clown, and I think the way that he's handling. <laughs> this stuff you know with the with the disease and it's yeah. you know i think everybody should get um omnicron too and so that we can finally be immune you know to this disease i feel, I feel. <laughs> hell yeah, yeah. Dude. thanks so much yeah thanks i gotta so for, i gotta go take yeah. a shit see you, okay see you next time Word. okay okay bye i like oh, that guy man. Yeah, a good guy yeah what a what a nice what a nice chill dude good head on his, sh- on his <laughs> He's shoulders got- He's got a hell of a head on his I shoulders. could really, I'd like some of those laptop bags. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, man, but, the laptop bags that are like, woof, woof, don't yeah. touch my computer. Great QAnon on one ones. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> or whatever. That's what I'm asking. Or whatever. All mm-hmm. right, look. Hey, folks, we got, we got a great show coming up for you. Oh, it's such a great show. We've got, uh, we've got a podcast host. Whoa. She's going to blow your mind. Okay. We've got. Uh, we've got someone who's a farmer. What? Yeah. Me? We also, well, I mean, okay, we have two farmers <laughs> on the sh- We've got two farmers on the show. There it is. And three podcast okay. hosts. Okay. We've got two farmers and three podcast hosts. You're not going to want to miss it. Nope. We are going to take a quick break. Uh, but when we come back, uh, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to want to.
boy, look. I can look tell at us. you and McDougal have been in the lab. Yeah, we've been in the lab. We've yeah. been we've been cooking up. We've been yep. mixing up some herbs and spices. Big shout outs to Gabe Force uh, Big- sponsoring the Patreon show. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, <laughs> I always thought it was interesting that we had a sponsor for the Patreon show. Right. Because, like, the whole point is you that. You would think. Yeah. <laughs> you would we're th- sponsored by, you know, the Patreon. Someone's got to pick up the slack. Someone's gotta- <laughs> That's gay so force. We've only got like 14 people giving us. Mm-hmm. And four, a couple of them are minors. A couple of them, yeah. <laughs> yeah. One dollar a week from a, a three-year-old and a four-year-old. If those kids get carded. Oh, man. Oh, look. If the old CC <laughs> shows up at the Patreon show, yep. we're getting shut down. It's over. We're getting shut down. It's All over. right, look. We should go ahead and we yeah. should pop it off. All right. We should bust bring it out, out. Bring out a guest. We should blow it through. Guest it. Let's just be warned. Jamie broke the couch. Let's slap it around. Yeah. Whoever has uh, to sit be, down uh, here. Be careful. Jamie uh, broke the couch this. is broken. Yeah. Uh, please welcome our first guest, Jenna Vesper. Everybody, here she comes. Oh my God! Look at this! Look at this! Oh yeah! Hello. Oh man! Oh my God! Good to see everybody. Yeah. We got it couch is broken just right yeah it did break it's just the exact right. Yeah. right amount of yeah broken. just like me basically i'm just the right amount of broken myself oh mm-hmm. yeah on a scale of one to two broken where is that <laughs> two being the highest broken that you can be oh no like two is in t-o-o oh, okay <laughs> hmm. um i am like at the level where i'm making my therapist laugh okay but in a way that she's not like happy about Oh, angry she, Yeah, she's kind of just like, what the fuck? That's my favorite kind. Of, I, love, I love getting on stage, telling a joke, and seeing in their eyes that they don't like it. Yeah. But seeing in their mouths, those are laughs. Because they laugh, and then they're mad that they laugh. Because she's like, I'm just like, I'm like a therapist. I'm being paid to do this. And like, you're making me laugh at your, oh, mis- your trauma. Gotcha. You know? I was thinking like whoopee cushion under the therapist seat. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, you got me. But I'm a little upset. <laughs> That's <laughs> I do like pranking your therapist as an idea to definitely do in the future. I'm yes. putting it in the I'm putting it in my notes. Yes, yes. Show up, pretend to be somebody else. Oh yeah. You know. Or just uh uh tell tell your therapist, oh, could you go and check by the window and then move everything in their office like three inches to the right? Ooh. Yeah. They don't like that. They yeah. come back to the thing. I'm sitting in their chair. They have to lay down on the couch yeah, 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 yeah. and tell me about them. And, and then get... you and then you do the the classic Nickelodeon slime. <laughs> You've been slimed. I don't want to know anything about my therapist. <laughs> I'm not it's not about them. I'm not paying to absorb information about another person. That is always <laughs> interesting when your therapist is like, "Here, let me let me give you a little information based on <laughs> Mm-hmm. about my life it's like what i don't i don't need to know about your life <laughs> fuck out of here except for one time i did want to fuck my therapist oh i saw the them That's not what you want. yeah i <laughs> saw them on tinder and then i saw them in the office and i definitely wanted to fuck them wait did you see them on tinder before they on became tinder? your therapist no after yeah no I, and then when i went in i was like oh my god this is a very hot person and mm-hmm. i was like oh maybe i should not be seeing them and then like right. a week later i saw them on tinder and yeah. it kind of ruined the boner a little bit for me because they were like their Tinder bio was just like it's so basic, you know. Mm, sure. Like I like tacos and dogs and like <laughs> let's go out and like breathe air or shit. I'm like, fuck you. I like think, I, I don't like this. <laughs> I think that if you're an attractive person, you shouldn't be allowed to be a doctor yeah. or a therapist. And fucking check this out too. He was also younger than me and had like his career already. So I felt really like judged by him just on the basis of that. Like mm-hmm. I walked in and I'm like, you know, that's the, I'm like this. That's and- the other thing. If you're an age, you shouldn't be allowed to be a therapist. <laughs> I was like, he has his shit together way more than I do. And here I am like complaining. And like, I, don't, I felt very. <laughs> Therapists should only be allowed to be those like, like 107 year old people in like Italy and China. Mm-hmm. There's mm-hmm. like, there's like a town in Italy and a town in China where all the oldest people are. Those should be the therapists for the whole world. Yes. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's all right. Old people with a lot of experience. Yeah. yeah, and don't have their like shit though like together better than me at a younger age than me. It was really offensive. Yeah. That's third rule. No having your shit together <laughs> if you're a therapist. Ooh, I want an old frat guy. 
Just an uh, right. yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, an that's, old Kappa new. Yeah, <laughs> we're doing sessions in his mom's basement. Yeah, you know, and like he's hungover, I'm hungover. Hundred and six years old. Out. Yes. <laughs> oh man, can you imagine the hangover? Is that hundred and six? Like, give me the pedia light. But like cheap vodka hungover. Yes. I love it. Alcohol does it take to get drunk if you're that old? I think it depends on Very how, little. how big of an old person you are. Mm -hmm. Or how long you've been drinking. Mm -hmm. I guess, can you get really old if you're like a giant person? Like no, I always, no. I, I think the biggest people are the ones who die, like. Big dog. Like really tall, giant <laughs> people mm -hmm. die way early is what I always heard. Because <laughs> their head always gets caught in the ceiling fan. Yeah. And they die. Yeah, that's <laughs> the tall die young. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. number one cause of death for giants. Is Live tall, die fast. Related incidents. <laughs> <laughs> they just get whacked in the face with a ceiling fan and you never recover. You never recover from it. But, Shit, they're hard as fuck. Yeah. 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 Except for I, I like old ceiling fans that are like soft wood. Mm -hmm, and you can, and they have like this like the wicker mesh a oh, yeah. little bit, and you can yeah, see the dust. Like snaps right yeah. <laughs> the wicker ceiling fan is fire. People, hazard. Well, fire hazard. Yes. True. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how they also die. But it's cool. <laughs> yes. It's a cool death because. And the danger makes it cool. Yeah, and the wind makes the fire, you know, go more. Yeah. So it's just like the the fire gets you quicker, which is good. You know, like that's I, not a good way to die i do think that's maybe my only financial goal is to have enough money to live in a place with a ceiling fan just one yeah yeah and i could probably do that to like i could buy a ceiling fan and put it they're not that expensive a battery operated one i mean it's not it's not gonna go anywhere no i just put it where the ceiling light is oh i see well i mean i'd have to wire hire someone to wire it too i'm not gonna look look i ain't no electrician <laughs> I'm still a huge advocate for the DIY fireplace in this apartment. That was <laughs> big. Who? No, I think it wasn't a fireplace. We were talking about just getting a chimney. <laughs> well, for a fireplace, there was. <laughs> yeah, if you have a fireplace, you need a chimney. You, a chimney. you have to, like, you know. It was like mm -hmm. a year and a half ago. <laughs> I had gotten a piece of mail that was like a fireplace chimney repair. sweepers. Chimney, chimney repair, chimney sweeping. Yeah. And you were really lonely, uh, and you're like, I want this person to come well, over. we called them on the show. <laughs> I was here, yeah. We, we, called, we called them, and we said, hey, can you install a chimney in a second-floor <laughs> apartment? And their answer was, I, for a lot of money, yeah. So. <laughs> we got to come and look at it. <laughs> that is what they said. Well, yeah, we'd have to come and look at it. And how does American property management feel about you? <laughs> Look, we don't, I don't, we got new managers. We got a new, we got new management company. I think the new, they're, they're like super cool, young property man. They're like, they're like the cool young mm. landlords. Oh, they're, yeah. You they're love only, to see a millennial landlord. They're raising my rent for the first time since <laughs> I lived here. They're really cool and young. <laughs> it's like an extracurricular high school project yeah, for some yeah, kids. Like, two like, like 17 year old dudes, <laughs> just like, hey, look. We own an apartment <laughs> complex now. Girl boss. Welcome to welcome to fucking Hello Rad uh, property management. Every apartment comes with two skateboards. Hell yeah, dude. Ooh. Yeah. Two skateboards yeah. but as bookshelves. <laughs> That's I have that. Yeah, I, I love this idea. I think it's cool. The stack of skateboards with books in them. The moment that I said it, I was like, oh, wait, that's a thing James actually has. But I, like, I, made them as shel I made them as independent shelves that are, like, hanging. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I love the idea of just stacking them and just, like, risking it. You know, you're like, <laughs> I guess I'm never going to read again because if I move a book, it's going to fall. Build a china cabinet out yeah. of <laughs> skateboards and then one bump and they all roll in different directions. My grandmother's china! She's fucking dead. That's not. I'm not. Oh no, that. the little ceramic angels. <laughs> Those were supposed to get me through. They were supposed to pay my college. That was my off. inheritance. Yeah, that was my inheritance. Was ground Nana's yes. China butt plugs. Really? <laughs> yeah, she has very, my my Nana had really porcelain. beautiful like I feel porcelain like, butt plugs. I don't really? know. I think yeah. maybe I'm constantly uh, misrepresenting how powerful a butthole can be right 
No, 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 but you don't understand the butt plug. But I feel like porcelain would snap right up. No, 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 you don't understand. My asshole would eat porcelain for dinner. And and that's good because you are a big dog like that. Your 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 asshole is big dog. Big dog. Um, I'm a big dog. Wait, no, but you have wait, to know the. <laughs> Big dogs got big to dog. eat. <laughs> the <laughs> sphincters of the people who were in the like Dust Bowl era oh, yeah. are really Dust soft. Really? <laughs> They're really soft sphincters because like Why? they didn't have like much, you know, they were eating like dirt. They were, yeah, they really? were eating like dirt. Dirt and like, and, like uh, what does that do to like your dry corn? Yeah, it just like your body adapts to the fact that you're not really like pushing out much, you know, waste. Yeah. And so it doesn't need to like, have it, so much like uh, intensity, so much snapback, yeah. And so it's just like a real loose, like gaping <laughs> yeah. gape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big yeah. gapers, back big gapers, real, real easy gape. Yeah. Well, so I'm a tough gape compared to a dust yeah. bowl. Oh, gape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. we're all tough gapes compared <laughs> to a dust bowl. Man. Oh, well, and also like you know we have like I know it was like real stressful for them back then, but now we got like we're like. We're like way more stressed than our grandparents like were really? when they were a teen. Yeah, oh, I feel yeah. like we have like you know TikTok dramas we have to follow, and that like that takes up like oh. a lot of like my day, like mm -hmm. good eight hours of it. I don't get any sleep, and then I have to think about like NFTs and how I'm never going to own any, even though that's going to be the currency. Oh, I can give you some NFTs. Oh my god, thank God! Look, I'll I got I got NFTs to spare. Oh, I'm doling them out like uh like uh candy and prizes. That's good. good. Okay, well maybe I'll have children then if I. If I can have some NFTs and I can actually have children, I was like not going to have any kids because I was worried about not being able to like yeah. give them anything. Uh, and then especially because I was going to give them my grandmother's, you know, butt plugs, but then they broke. So did they? Yeah. On our skateboard. Like show. they're made out of American, like American dolls or porcelain, porcelain dolls. Oh man. You I'm picturing can, porcelain you dolls porcelain in my doll. butt. Yeah. I can smash a porcelain doll good. <laughs> it seems so dangerous. I mean, yeah. Is obsidian and fun. is an obsidian a good <laughs> ancient buck plug? Obsidian is real hard. Okay. Obsidian, obsidian could gape you good. Gotcha. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm fascinated. I'm. <laughs> I'm learning. I didn't. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah. Um, but now I have to, you know, find some other way to make my. I'm so happy you have some NFTs oh, yeah. for me. I got. Really I got good. so many NFTs. Oh. I got like. Donald Duck drowning in uh, Melted Jolly Ranchers. I got like uh, Gary Busey's teeth, just at, just his teeth, but they're all like made of gold, like the mm. like uh, what's his name in Home Alone. Uh, Pesci. I got, what Pesci? Yeah, Joe Joe Pesci in Home Alone. <laughs> a gold gold uh, Gary Busey teeth. Oh yeah, I got, both, like, both Pesci and Busey. They know a lot about like old antique yeah. butt plugs. Oh man. I have a mint goatsy. Um, a mint goatsy. <laughs> like Banksy? No, it's the guy. <laughs> that... No, goatsy is the guy who like pulled his asshole open yeah. real wide. Oh, uh, yeah. but Banksy also did that. Banks, yeah. Is I mean, Banksy goatsy? The, the one thing we know for sure about Banksy is that uh, he had real a gaper big boy. wide asshole. <laughs> That's where he kept all the paint. That's, that's how he got away with it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're like, I was that guy. And he's like, his ass. no, I'm just standing here mm -hmm. gaping, but like, I have nothing. It's fine. I didn't paint you these. Can, look, you can reach in there if you want. It's a real honeypot situation. Mm -hmm. The deeper you go. Oh, bother. <laughs> All right. Look, <laughs> we do have to. We do have to bring our second guest on. It's pretty exciting. Second guest. Uh, Woo! Look, is Wolf, the big dog? Wolfgang Puck had to once again drop out. Okay. Damn what it. a piece of shit. Loser. Wolfgang Puck. We'll we'll get you one of these days. I've given up on Wolfgang. He keeps he keeps getting here and then stealing all the gift bags. Yeah. And bailing. Right. Fucking Wolfgang Puck. Softcore move. Ugh, real softcore move. <laughs> we need to get a Ram, a Gordon Ramsay in here. Yeah, mm -hmm. Wolfgang Flake. Yeah, there you go. More like Wolfgang Flake. Say, thank you so much, Tiger Bates, for always being there. Ooh, Wolfgang. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, we we do have to. We got to bring on our second guest. Okay. Uh, they're a big deal. They're a big deal. They're a a, a farmer. Of okay. Some sort. They Great. farm. Some sort of plant, I hope and you know a lot about that, James. I hope it's blueberries. I I don't think it's well. I I don't I don't think it's blueberry season. Is okay. the thing. Oh. Mm. Uh, please welcome 
Our next guest, Merge Left. Merge Left. Merge Left. Merge Left. There we go. Nice to oh, meet you, Merge. Hello. Hello, Merge. There you go. Oh, good stuff. Look at you. Ah. Very official. Very, very professional. Yeah. Yeah. How's oh, it? Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, absolutely. We we'd love to have you. It's good to be here. <laughs> I'm I, not used to being on camera. Oh, I know there's a lot going on. So a lot of lights. There's like don't a don't lights. worry about it. It's the no stakes. What do people typically do with their knees? Uh, I think, I think. Well, me and James have our legs crossed. Oh, mm -hmm. Jenna's got her legs crossed too. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe cross those legs. Cross them right over each other. <laughs> there you go. Oh, now you're all tangled up. Here, oh. Oh, here we go. I mean, just for a second. Here, let's just do this and this. Okay. Well, now this is okay. What's happening here? Here. Okay. What is? Just you go around. Oh shit! What is this? Oh no! This is not okay. What's? Oh man! Oh man! Now we're really okay. Now we're cooking. Oh, Okay. We don't need Wolfgang oh, Puck. We did, okay. we did it. We're all all, right. all in the clear. You seem you seem like you know exactly what to do with your legs. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm settling. Perfect. Uh, so I was I was told you're a farmer of some sort. You farm? I am. I'm the owner and main runner of uh, Left Family Farms out on Savi's Island, up okay. on Beautiful. off the 405 north of sure. Portland. Great yeah. area. It's what beautiful this time of year. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, <laughs> it's I love I'd love it if you came out. Uh yeah, I I I don't look, I'm I'm pretty booked up for the next couple of weeks. Or if they do I to, do I talk to them? Yeah, you could talk mm -hmm. straight there. Tomorrow we'll um we'll be having a sale all day long, four AM fuck seven AM to six PM. You can come on down. Well, we still have mistletoe available. Oh, um, mistletoe for fire. the for the solstice tomorrow night. Oh um, yeah, that's right. Tomorrow is the solstice. Yeah, perfect time for mistletoe. Yes. Do you like showing new friends the property? I like to show people. I'm proud of the work I do. I would say, mm -hmm. farming's a challenging. It's a challenging business. This in this society. Yeah. And the, the left family has been farming mistletoe for four generations in the Pacific Northwest. So. Wow. wow. Yes, I'm very proud to show off my work. What, so, like, what, what is sort of mistletoe farming? Because, to my knowledge, mistletoe is sort of like a, like a parasite that grows on other trees. It is. A, it's semi-parasitic. Okay. We do, it's mostly a, an oak grove sure. that, we, that we grow our mistletoe in. Cool, and this is the this is the the biggest season for us for some. Yeah, years. absolutely. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine why anyone would buy mistletoe outside of this month. Well, there are other various rituals and other times. The summer solstice we do sell sure. quite a bit as well. Interesting. Yes. Why? Oh, for what? the summer solstice. Okay. What, as opposed what to what sort of rituals do you do with your? What are like top ten rituals? Uh, for this time of year, most people are buying their mistletoe. In this area, at least for our business, for the uh, mouth kisses, for <sighs> fucking perverted. You put it, you put it up on the ceiling. People oh, end up under. Don't the even mention the c word the around me. The ceiling. The c word. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to offend. So you don't want your mistletoe used for uh, Christmas type <laughs> Christmas. That dog and pony show. Oh, you you know what's going on behind the, the curtain. The thing these fucking perverts do with mistletoe makes me sick. Is there full penetration under mistletoe? The, the way kids are effing and jeffing under that mistletoe. <laughs> the way these Christian families are forcing their use of mistletoe on me and my family. We've been growing the damn stuff for four generations. You're going to tell me how it's used for your perverted effing and jeffing? I don't know. I think it's look. I think it's a pretty cute tradition. Right? Right? Yeah, it's cute. I it's, mean, it's cute. Yeah, you can put it up there, and you, you can put it like on your belt buckle. <laughs> that's very funny. See, you put it. 
that's that's very funny. That's very funny. You, you, like, you, you end up under it with someone, and you're like, oh, are we supposed? Oh, 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 are we supposed to? What? And then it's like a whole what? fun joke between, what? and then one of them actually wants to kiss, yeah, 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 and then yeah, the yeah. other one is like, oh no, I was just, I was just kidding, and then yeah. it ruins their friendship. But that's a fun tradition. Yeah. It's disgusting. Do you think there's ever been a major cum swap under mistletoe? I'm sure the way these kids effing Jeff. The way these Christian families are effing and Jeffing. And excuse me, I didn't know coming onto the show that I'd be surrounded by a couple <laughs> thoroughbred effers and I'm irreformable I'm Jeffers. Look, look, there is some serious Jeffing. I'm Everybody. promoting a family business. Okay. All right, look, we I'm I'm sorry. Uh, the booker should have known better than to ask you on the show. This is this is a this is my livelihood. Story. This is a serious misunderstanding, and I I really apologize. We we do sort of like a silly, gross show, and we I mean we could we could family it up a little bit. Look, uh, James mm -hmm. has some family. Yep. Will your family be celebrating the solstice tomorrow in a wholesome manner? There's a likelihood of that, yes. Will there be effing and or jeffing? Honestly, no. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Let's you, start fresh. You don't, like, you don't like Christians and their traditions. What sort of traditions do you get into as a, as a solstice monger? Well, listen, I, like I said, it's a family business. Mm -hmm. We're an American family. Yeah. So we're traditional Americans. Absolutely. Awesome. We'll be using our mistletoe in my household mm -hmm. for the traditional rite of the oak and mistletoe tomorrow night for you. Okay. Do you, of would course. you like to uh, sort of go over? Because as someone who is raised uh, not not American, look, look, my family, we were very uh, what's the word? Uh, import. We were import only, very Polish, very Catholic. Catholicism, that dog and pony show. <laughs> so could you go over, what, what is the oak and mistletoe ritual? Well, I'm sure many, all the real Americans watching are familiar, True but of patron. course, <laughs> the rite of the oak and mistletoe is of course for our goddess Modron. And we, sure. On the night of Yule the Solstice, the druid in your household, which would be in case me, the the spiritual elder, yeah. will climb an oak tree, cut down a mistletoe. If you do not have mistletoe growing on your oak tree, you can bring your own there. There's okay. many contemporary ways of performing this right. And then as a family, you commit a sacrifice underneath. Oh. That's very good. For the house. Now, what kind of sacrifice? And the are family we, values. Are we talking about like making sacrifices? Like you, you put some money in a, and burn it or whatever. Well, it's to appease the goddess Modron. So yeah. <laughs> Modron doesn't you're care gonna, about. I mean, you're not gonna get her attention sacrificing a couple of Lannis more set CDs if that's what you're thinking of doing. We sure. got the. It's got to be something a little more meaningful. We Two white <laughs> bulls. Okay. We got Hard the to find we got rivals. the chat popping off for Goddess Modron right now. Popping off. Um, Jazz Fats in Montgomery, big fan of Modron. Mm -hmm. So, so <laughs> a, a classic American right there. Thank you, Josh. True American. True American. True American. Patriot. So, okay, two white bulls. Mm -hmm. I I can't get a hold of two white bulls. What what? They don't nice? have to be albino. Okay, mm. just two bulls. Two yeah. white. Bulls. I can paint one of them. Or I can paint both of them white. Oh, I see. Yeah, now that's uh, now you're thinking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, gonna be really hard. To I find. didn't even think about paint. Yeah. Can one of them be castrated? Now this is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Many times that is incorporated into the right itself. Oh, the mm. the castration. The castration. Like, what if you just did the balls. If you just well, the purpose of the right <laughs> of the oak and mistletoe is to bring favor upon your house. Sure. So there is a sliding scale depending on what yeah, how much you sacrifice, how much favor you want. What sort of favor you will get. Do and you that, want like uh like just cut off your finger amount of favor or do you want to toss a family toss, member, toss your sister in the pot sort of favor. There we go. And it's and then you can receive favor on a sliding scale from good rainfall to spiritual mind powers. Cool. Okay, so here's a question. 
I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to delve too deep, too, too quick, too far. I have a sister. Congratulations. If she were to, you know, turn up dead on an altar tomorrow, what sort of powers are we talking? I that a family member sacrifice is one of the higher tiers, and and you get all the bonuses from lower tiers. Sure, exactly. <laughs> Just like on uh, Patreon. Just like it, it is a Patreon system. It is, <laughs> it is sort of out. a spiritual patronage, and and you would you would receive the good rainfall. Sure, good rainfall. You would receive a household free of pox. No pox. No pox. Not oh, a pox. Man. And I've had a pox of pox this year. Yes, you'd receive uh, zero to very few bandits. Amazing. Love that. At your homestead. It's a real problem around these parts. You would have extremely fertile daughters. Sure. More fertile sons. More even fertiler. And certain degree of mind powers. Certain certain degree, as in like, I could pick you up with my mind? Well, it depends how good's your sister. I got a good hey. Don't you say shit like that about my sister. My sister's great. We're, I mean, we're talking turkey here. I'm trying to, I'm getting to the bottom got, of this. I got a great sister. Okay. I got a real good sister. Then you get very good mind powers. Very perfect. This all seems very intuitive to me. Yeah. yeah. You know what? You're right. You're right. I, sh- I shouldn't have asked these sorts of questions. Uh, James, do you have... Uh, does the bang bus buy a lot of mistletoe from you guys? The bang bus... That dog and pony show. <laughs> These effers and jeffers. Oh man, no, no more effing and jeffing than on the bang bus. We operate sort of like a marijuana dispensary. Whoa. Where if I, like, a dispensary is not going to sell you marijuana if they know you're going to be traveling. If I see, if you come into my farm mm-hmm. and I see the effing and jeffing in your face, like I would see if you waltzed in right now, James. Do you see effing? You are not walking out of there with mistletoe. Do you mistletoe. see effing and jeffing on my face? I look at that face, and I think there's not an F you've seen that you couldn't jeff in your entire <laughs> life. What about Jenna? This effer and jeffer? <laughs> this thoroughbred effer? This irredeemable jeffer? Who staked her career on the pursuit and upholding of effing and or jeffing? Yeah, I'm going to be honest. Jenna is probably in the top 10 effers and jeffers that I know personally. Yeah, on and I know people. jeffersonly.com. Oh, man. This jeffer? She'd get a pass. I'm a fan of the podcast. <laughs> we do get cable. We do get basic cable. And the Bachelor franchise is, it's on in the, it's, it's on. And in listen, the, in I actually household. sacrificed both my parents years ago. Yeah. So that's I, what, yeah, that's what all this rainfall has been about. Yes, 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 yes. See, what I appreciate about <laughs> Jenna is that the whole kind of pervy thing that she's got going on, it's just for the clout. It's just the character mm. that she plays on the podcast. I know in her heart, there's a, there's a druid in there just waiting to be. Wild. Yeah, but I, I heard a rumor. She's got the heart of a druid. Make sure don't don't let, let your eyes reveal the truth here. But mm-hmm. I did hear a rumor you've never actually physically touched a person. No, I've touched a lot of people, like a, lo- a lot of that's, people. That's good. That's like a lot good. of people at other schools in like different states, though. So like oh, you've yeah. never seen them before, but Canada. like yeah. But my the people in Canada that I've I've touched Canadians. Yeah. Canadians know that you've touched. Yeah, I've touched a lot of Canadians. That's good. Yeah. That's, see what you did with your eyes just there. That's perfect. Yeah. That's exactly. That's yeah. exactly perfect. All right, I think uh, that's. Uh, I think I think that we we've co- covered some good ground here. I've learned I learned so much. Yeah, I like this about classic American pagan ritual. Yep. And listen, if I could just say, if you come down between the hours of seven a.m. and six p.m. and you mention hot goss at the checkout counter, you will get fifteen percent off mistletoe, myrrh, or echinacea, and oh. that's the left family guarantee. Wow. That's a good deal. That is a good deal. Not I love bad. that so much. Hey, uh, thanks so much for being here, bud. It, I wish I could say it was a pleasure. We gotta <laughs> we gotta head into the next segment of the show, which uh, happens to be a little thing called Hey, 
Here we are, James. Uh, you yep. wanna you wanna pop into a little bit of gotta get the a little, copy, little bit of copy the there. Gotta get the the business out of the way. Gotta take care of the sponsors. Keeping the lights on. Keeping the food in the bellies. Keeping the carpet on the floor. Keeping the drapes on the windows. Bunch of carpet munchers here that'll eat all the carpet. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> Keeping all that together. All right. Shout out to the fish guys. All right. Um, there's a huge possibility you and the guys are all showing some serious hole this Christmas. When Santa comes and comes hard, charging down your crusted up brown smoke shaft, Santa will certainly see you and a bunch of guys showing hole if you aren't stuffing the whole family's stockings with fish guys. Fish guys fills holes in your fist game where Santa can't. Let the elves over at fish guys get their package up under your noble fur and jingle those massive bells to celebrate the birth of Christ and all the Hanukkah shit too. I'm talking rings. I'm talking watches. I'm talking anything your fist has missed. Creams, blings, cufflinks, and more so you and the guys aren't showing gaping hole in your fist game. Celebrate the holidays with the ultimate gay apparel and pump and dump with free returns with fist guys. Satisfaction guarantees or fist guys will suck swap every last time. Ho, ho, hold the phone. (laughs) Fist guys is giving back. One out of every $10 spent on watches, bracelets, Creams, gloves, cufflinks, and more goes to help feed people. And there's a toy drive. Promo code <laughs> James Fist Guys for free shipping as always. A fist of us for the rest of us. Get in the guys, fistguys.gov. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Fist Guys, Thank for you, always guys. being there. Thank you so much. Hey, welcome to the Infinite Shit Wheel of Chaos, a uh, game show within the late night talk show on, on the internet. Uh, it's, it's pretty self explanatory. Uh, let's talk about our our contestants this week. There's uh, there's me and James always mm-hmm. as always can, have yet to win either of us. Always a bridesmaid, never a winner of the shit wheel of chaos. Always uh, <laughs> we got we have Jenna Vesper, obviously. I'm gonna fucking beat your asses. Ready to ready to. Spin I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking fist your asses. Oh yeah, favorite. that's that's what we and. <laughs> Riley McCarthy, everybody. It was me the whole time. Oh, oh here we go. Disappearing into roles. Holy shit! It's truly. I forget that you're here every time. I knew. I was, in on, I was in on it. <laughs> oh, I'm a yeah. thespian. <laughs> <laughs> I never. My goal is to fool James one of these days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna come on here as James's mother. <laughs> And he hasn't ever really, famously not seen her for 20 really years. So. Getting the weeds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> the shit wheel. The shit wheel. Uh, oh, I have gifts. Can I give you gifts before we start the uh, shit wheel? Yeah, sure. I have a little love Christmas that. gift or solstice. I would love or... to let here, and I'll explain to Jenna yeah. what this is. Yeah. Uh, so, there's this wheel, and we spin mm-hmm. it, and then we do what it says because mm-hmm. we're slaves to the wheel. Yeah. Oh, now, of course. Uh, you signed the paperwork when you walked in the door yeah we all signed it that's that's the whole thing we were slaves Whoa. to the wheel uh so happy solstice friends look at this oh it, has, it has a c look on it a nice little thing look at this oh man now i'm excited oh well try the paper <gasps> I'm so... I, ripped it. I ripped it good i ripped it right up Colgate made that oh sweet oh hell yeah Perfect. Look at this. I got I got a garbage I got a muscular Molly garbage pail kit. <gasps> oh, that's so good. Muscular I figured Molly. you're kind of a beefcake. You're like Ooh. the beefcake oh, of the no, show. I'm a, I'm a big time muscular Molly. <laughs> big dog. I'm a, I'm a muscular Molly. If anyone has ever seen one. What goes with it, Dan? I got fatty Brad. Fatty Brad. I love Hi- that. It's like hydrating. a bro. Pineapple pila. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, this is great. You, know, you all got masks. I love yeah. this. Yeah, happy I solstice. Love Christmas. Christmas. So good. Yeah. I don't know if you reindeer. Oh man. So okay, here we go. Here's the wheel. Riley loves me. Riley lo- Riley loves everything. Put your mind right now. Oh, yeah. oh, put it right on there. Right on the face. I mean, we could all wear masks. You don't want to do masks? I, I think I, I think you and James have the kind of have to smear on. Yeah. Oh. But it peels, so you wouldn't have well, to wash your face afterwards. Oh. 
That's, I mean, that's, you know. I don't know. If I, I, I didn't bring this on here to force you to do that. I don't know if I'm physically prepared to <laughs> spread stuff on my face and still do this yeah. right yeah, now. Save this for later. All right. Relax. Let's, okay. I'm going to spin this sucker and we're going to. Oh, man. Look at this. Right into it. Whoa. Right oh, into hell it. Oh, yeah. Starting off with a bang. Right off the top. Is it poggers? Is it poggers? Yeah, this is the time. This is the stuff. This is the show. Uh, this is a game show within the game show within the talk show on the internet. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're it's called Is It Poggers? Do you know what the term poggers means? <laughs> you made me do this one last time, and I have since forgotten. We make everybody it's... do it every time. Um, it means. It means really cool. It means pretty cool. Yeah. Perfect. Pretty you, cool. You Not it. really yeah. cool. Pretty, pretty cool. cool. Okay. And uh, yeah, just people put things in the thing, and then we decide if they're poggers or not. Mm-hmm. Here we go. From Goddamn Emily, Emily Pineapple. Tigers. Are they poggers? Yes. I think so. Oh, That's yeah. an easy one. Pretty poggers. Yeah, pretty poggers. And you know what, Emily? I think you knew that. Uh, and a quick follow-up. <laughs> Ligers. Mm. Mm. Overrated, not pot. I think I think a regular tiger is cooler than a liger from my perspective. Yeah, it's like yeah. I think it's it's all about going back to the classics. Exactly. This mm-hmm. season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, embrace tradition. Mm-hmm. I Reject mean, modernity. I mean, tell me this: what is more poggers, a donkey, a cool ass donkey, or a mule? Blech. I mean, a mule is very a very useful. Hmm. That's like, the millennial but, like. But, uh, but is it poggers, Clancy? Mm, that's true. That's true. See, it's all about donkey. Are just mule cats. It's all about <laughs> ligers are just mule. Also, I think that uh, ti- lions are uh, objectively less cool than tigers. Big time. And adding a little bit of lion to a tiger just dilutes it. Big time. It's like putting water in cranberry juice. Yeah. You're ruining the water. Uh-huh. Totally. <laughs> Making the cranberry yeah. juice We're better. Putting, putting beef stew in massage oil. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck? Why would you even do that? Well, I mean, that might be, I mean, it's all oil. Now you have really good massage oil. It's, it's, all, it's all oil, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, here we go. The hot and the spicy. Is it poggers? I don't know. What is this? I'm not sure what that is it sounds like it might be like a play on like the uh, fast and the furious the fast and the furious mm-hmm. potentially mm. uh too too hot too spicy mm. <laughs> hot chip the hot and spicy there we go yeah I'm not really getting poggers from yeah i don't i'm not <laughs> sure i get it <laughs> I'm not sure. I... Oh, here we go. Garbage pail adults. Are they poggers? Yes. Oh. Yes. Room full of them, is, baby. Is there yeah. a where are they now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's on TLC. Like... I mean, I I would posit that I am potentially literally muscular Molly all grown up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This this is this is a photograph of me. Mm. This right here. With the braids and everything. I'm working on it. Hell I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna have braids one of these days. They're gonna be long. I was Adderall Andy. Okay. When I was a kid, <laughs> was, that all a re- up. was that a real garbage token? No. <laughs> oh my god! I like would not put it past there, them though. Is That's there okay. copyright on Adderall? <laughs> <laughs> not in the nineties. I think I think James is a real piss pot Pete sort of character. I was shirt cocking Cameron. <laughs> 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 Still, I am. I was Jeff and Jessica. Jeff and Jessica. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Oh man, <laughs> so much Jeff. Here we go. Uh, Sp- Spooder Man, Far From Home. Is it Poggers? I've seen bits and pieces of it, and from what I've seen, look, you're gonna be, you're gonna be, you're gonna be blown away at how much uh, Spider Mans there are. There are so many Spider Mans in it. Isn't, There's like thirty or forty spider too many. Isn't Far From Home the one that came out like two years ago? Eh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I truly have no idea. I thought No Way Home. They all have the exact same oh, name. Okay. Uh, they're all just Spider-Man Home movie. 
Spider-Man. Spider-Man. <laughs> Welcome back to Spider-Man hey, L movie. Hey, I'm Spider-Man or whatever. Watch this video of Spider-Man getting hit in the balls. America, America, things you do. Ba, ba, ba. America's funniest home Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that is an entire show. Miss people trying to be Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, never mind. I've come around on it. Very poggers. Yeah, poggers indeed. Uh, face paint. Is it poggers? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. I do enjoy some face paint. Well, depends on how you use it, huh? Yes. If you're for for Juggalo makeup, very poggers. Very poggers. Mm-hmm. For blackface, not very poggers. Mm, that's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. Less poggers. It's like they said in Spider-Man: The Homecoming. With with great power, you gotta fucking don't watch out, don't buddy. Do <laughs> I I think uh, in terms of like levels of face paint, uh, blackface is obviously the bottom. Mm-hmm. Uh, Juggalo is probably somewhere in the middle, mm-hmm. and I think the top is uh, clown. Yeah. Clown is number one for me. It's a noble profession. <laughs> it's the one last true noble profession. Yeah. EMT is fuck out of here. <laughs> Who cares? Teachers <laughs> hit the bricks. Who cares if you can save my life if you're not going to be wacky while you do it? Yeah. It's true. I need to laugh. I'm so sad. My essential worker is if, bozo. In this I, economy. <laughs> if, you, if, yeah. if you are an EMT and you do like a whole like Three Stooges routine, while you're doing your EMT stuff, then I'm into it. Instead of the uh, instead of the siren on the thing, it just plays yakety sex. And he goes to <laughs> inject you with like an important life saving medication, and it's just ink. Yeah, and yeah. it sprays all over. <laughs> like, oh no! And then they poke you in the eyes. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah, that's that. I think that's very good. I think that's good. I think that's poggers. Is calm. Yeah. Space I mean, listen, these essential workers are working crazy hours now because, you know, like everyone's sick and dying. Sure. I, I live with a funeral director and she's just constantly like, Hell oh my yeah. God. Whoa. She's like, people are dying so much right now. That like, must be business so cool. is yeah. booming. <laughs> yeah. She's doing very well. She drives a Ferrari. Yeah. Now, she's, but... <laughs> she's doing super bridge. well because people are just like dropping left and right. And, oh. I think that, you know, like, so I feel bad for these EMTs and like, they just have to have something fun, you know, like every day yeah. you wake up and you do the same bullshit again, you know, make like it fun. at my job, I pretend to drop pick things down hallways, yeah. but their job, they, uh, <laughs> they tip over a gurney and go, yeah. whoopsies, whoopsies. Oh, Whoa, butter, no. butter fingers. <laughs> <laughs> who put that there you know the exactly. banana peel i slipped on yeah yeah, yeah. Anyway. there we go what's this uh koalas are they poggers of course yeah oh, anything yeah. with chlamydia is poggers mm-hmm. that's my decision <laughs> even my dad even your dad if especially you your dad you are very poggers <laughs> and you might be a koala and you do. <laughs> statistically you probably are you're saying this like it's common knowledge do yeah. all, koalas all koalas have chlamydia, have chlamydia. Yeah. that's like a thing is that where is that where you fucking got it? Yeah. Well, that's where I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> can only speak from personal experience. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what? Uh, uh, Pajama the cat. Pawnam. 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 Oh, the cat. that's my cat. Oh, frankly, Panama the cat is very poggers. Panama can flatten. Her yeah. body to the point where she's like a pancake, and it's very unsettling. You guys send me pictures of pancake of a pancake I will. cat. I mean, you follow me on Instagram. I post pictures of pancake cat. As a Panama's pancake, the, the black one. I'll find a picture. I need I need a pancake yeah. picture. Mm-hmm. Very flat. Panama's it's very the flat. only thing that I'm into. You pa- should you should start an OnlyFans of your cat. Of my cat pancaking. <laughs> I I would say because I would pay money for that. I would give you three ninety nine a month to look at your pancake cat. Okay. <laughs> I just sorry. I just opened up my phone to find a picture of my cat, and my dad is watching this. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sorry, I literally just said you had chlamydia. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Uh, is it Poggers method acting? No, fuck that shit. Po- no, method Chris. acting is fucking dumb. Uh, so w- what was it? Who was the sir? Uh, the okay, 
Sirhan Sirhan? No, there was a very famous old uh, stage actor who was in a movie with Daniel Day-Lewis. Sir Glenn Coase. No. Oh. <laughs> but Daniel Day-Lewis was talking about method acting, mm. and he was like, my dear boy, have you tried acting? <laughs> Fuck you. Method yeah. acting is stupid. stupid. Don't do it. It's Here's for actors thing. who can't act. Yeah. Like. Well, and who want a reason to treat people like garbage. Yeah. Them. And to wear fat suits or to do roles for trans people or, or to do like. Or put on a bunch of weight for no reason. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Here's the thing. Acting is an easy thing that anyone can do. Every, everybody is so like just Christian do Bale. Oh, that's so amazing that you destroyed your fucking mind and body. No, it isn't. It's no. stupid. You're an idiot. Yeah, it's Stop a it. fucking dumb thing that you did. They suck. <laughs> if you did actors, that for any they, other you know profession... Actors suck. Yeah. I'm glad somebody's saying it. Less yeah. people should be actors. More people should be true artists, uh, yeah. which is... Uh, podcasters. Like, <laughs> podcasters, yeah. Mm-hmm. More Less acting, more podcasting. And I do method podcasting, don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah. True. That's where I, you know, like, I... I put like a amp cord like in my butt and I pretend I'm a microphone oh, for like uh, like oh. roughly like three hours before each podcast. Wow. Yep. So I'm like one Do with Do you have it. someone talk into you? Yes. Who yes. are you guys? Who are you guys? Well I got I got my guy I got my guy Joe. Um Rogan? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan needs to talk to me you? because I want to know what to not talk about on my <laughs> podcast. So I ta- I listen to him for three hours beforehand he's, he's, so that I know. Put a mic cord up your butt and have Joe Rogan and Ben Shapiro have a conversation <laughs> at the top of yeah. your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's <laughs> and here's the thing: we record it, and that's what he uploads onto his podcast. Mm-hmm. And so, but I only started doing this for like about six months or so ago. So, like the fact that his p- podcast has gotten better in the yeah. last six months is because it's of that. all you, baby. Yeah. So it's all Jenna. You have a quality signal. Yeah. Uh... Oh yeah, I do. Four G in this ass. I got. I, I'm vax and boosted. Uh, Lawrence Olivier is the person who told Daniel Day Lewis. Mm. To fucking to learn stop how to being fucking an act. Asshole. You know who's method acting right now? And to go to, further to say that it's trash. Fucking that. Alec guy who shot him Baldwin. person. I mean, that's that's a little too much. Yeah, I know that's controversial for me to say that that's too much, but I think like that was too much, right? Well, I mean, in my opinion, uh, actors was, should be it was allowed a little to, extra. Yeah, I, th- I think actors should be allowed to shoot people. I don't think See that, p- less people should be actors, mm. but I do think every actor should get one person that they can shoot. Okay. And look, Alec Baldwin chose just a random person on a set, and that's that's that was his up. mistake because he was drunk. He blew it. Yeah, he should have. You know, he should have chosen like uh... himself. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's. Uh... Mm-hmm. Let's. Uh, hey, let's head back to the wheel. I think uh... <laughs> that was perfect. I'm gonna give you a point. For... Oh, yes! uh, Riley gets a point on this one, and let's let's spin this sucker. Let's get into it. Oh, perfect. I love this. this. This one's my favorite, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Laugh out loud, the 1001 funniest LL jokes of oh, all time. Oh, this is a good segment. So here's, here, here on uh, World's Hottest Goss, we are students of the craft yes. of comedy. Uh, so when I see a book titled Laugh Out Loud, the 1001 funniest joke, LOL jokes of all time, I say to myself, time to do some learning. Time to Time to dig in and do some learning. So we just... We just like to, you know, hit it up. Rattle a couple off. Hit the books. What does a cow pack in its lunch? Um, Ooh, well, not beef, probably. (laughs) I'll give you a hint. It's not a good joke. (laughs) Oh, okay. Uh, Ooh, what does a cow pack? Uh, Milkshakes? No, Uh, that would be funnier, I think, than Uh, what is... What about mm. like what about like a like a, gr- a grass a, a taco but with grass in it? No, James. Because <laughs> like, want to take a swing? Is it is it five stomachs? No, a peanut utter and jelly sandwich. Oh, because because they got the that's a treat anatomy. Are we that's supposed to laugh? Utter. I think we're just supposed to I solve mean, if you oh. think it's if you think it's funny. I think that's a Bill Bird joke. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that on Paper Tigers. 
Mm. Hey, why? <laughs> it's brutal. It's brutal. These, <laughs> these cows. <laughs> hey, yeah. I don't know what the fuck you got. <laughs> these cows. <laughs> Uh, why did the panther break up with the tiger? Uh, ooh, uh, racism. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, no? His uh, the panther. The panther's dad had a problem with the tiger. No, I'm gonna say they uh, grew apart over like a, like five years and just realized they had less and less in common, and they realized that they weren't excited to do things together. And that they were dreading things they would have to do as a unit in the future. And that they'd lie awake at night looking up at the ceiling and just asking why. Kind, almost. Close? Close. Okay. James? What? Uh, why did the panther break up with the tiger? Um, uh, because of the che the cheating. Oh, the cheetah? There, there were a cheetah? Yeah. No, that's good, though. Uh, that is, that's that's funny. genuinely a good cheetah. She's a also, cheetah. Also, I do want to point out Tiger Bates for what did the cow eat for lunch? Mushu pork. Mm -hmm. That's such a better joke. Yep. so good. Yeah. Yeah. Butter, look, we as a team are way better at this yeah. than Rob Elliott. <laughs> She's a cheetah is good. Uh, no, she was always lying. Oh, boy. <laughs> With that Sorry. dumb bitch. That fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> always lying! Fucking bitch. whore. Oh, man. Okay. <clears throat> James, get in there. I'll do one now. And this is it. How do you hide in the desert? Uh, I mean, ooh, paint yourself to look like a cactus and then stand like this. <clears throat> good. Mm. I'm a cactus. Don't touch me. I'm pointy. You cut open a lizard and climb into its skin. That's one. Close. Very close. Um, take peyote and don't exist anymore. Yep. Hide from That's yourself. It. <laughs> it's you wear camouflage. Oh, well, so, I mean, there's also there's desert. There is desert there's camouflage. Desert camouflage. camouflage. Though. You could yeah. just wear <laughs> desert. <laughs> this was this book was written in 1989 one, <laughs> before um for any war in the Middle East, <laughs> those are before Desert Storm. Yeah, those are good. Those are... Desert Storm really changed. Comedy. We couldn't, we couldn't conceive of having to fight in the desert. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see. Uh, why, why did the tailor and the quilter get married? Why convenience? That I mean, that's that's a good point. Right. They yeah. were both always at the fabric store. That's the main thing. Now that now they can cut down on the trips, one of them goes, and they get stuff for both of them. They were sewn at the hips. Ooh, uh, that's real close. They were sewn uh, in love. Oh, <laughs> fuck. What it is. And that's a point, baby. Thank you. That's a point for Jenna. Well earned. And, you well know deserved. What? James, I'm gonna give you a point for Cheetah. Oh that's yeah, pretty good. Cheetah was a very good. That's pretty joke. good. I have a point. <laughs> <laughs> I have a point. <laughs> Right, You're still see. gonna lose. Let's yep. Spin this sucker up. Ooh. Uh oh. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh. Clear my name. Uh, boy court is now in session. <laughs> mm -hmm. James, uh, please approach the bench. <laughs> what did I do last? Uh, last week we did two. You did two. Yeah. I also have some things that I could uh, put into evidence if that. If, okay. If that is uh, makes it easier for you today, we can do. If you, it pleases your, your honor. If it if it pleases the court, uh, I have some surprise witnesses to bring to the stand. Mine's just a story where I pulled a girl's chair out from under her and she hit her head really hard on the chair. My teacher would have said, "Don't ever do that again." I did it again. <laughs> Yeah, that sucks. You're guilty. That fucking sucks. I hate this segment. Well, here's here's what I have. Uh, we look. We all know that James is a bad boy, and we all know that I am a perfect angel mm -hmm. who's never done anything wrong. Mm -hmm. So I, True. so I wrote down some of the worst things that I've done, mm -hmm. and so if we can compare them to what he said, mm -hmm. uh, he pulled a chair, and he could have seriously injured somebody. And did it again. And then did it again after yeah. he was told to definitely never do that again. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I am Riley sorry. gets actually stressed out. I don't like this segment. 
I don't think you guys should be saying these things on microphones. So here's here's what I here's here's my here's one of the worst things that I ever done. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to have a mini fridge in my room. I lived in company housing. I had one roommate. I I had a mini fridge in my room. Uh, I bought some raw chicken and put it in the mini fridge. And then I forgot that I bought raw chicken, <laughs> and it stayed in that mini fridge for mm, six weeks. Mm -hmm. Rough. And it started to smell. Yeah. And we were both like, what the hell is that smell? Where is, is there, did a raccoon die in the vents under our room? Did a raccoon die in this old bag of we, chicken? We had, we had the maintenance person come and like get in the crawl space and like look around like, what's happening? What's oh wrong? And then I, I opened the mini fridge one day and I got a real big rush of it. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> Uh, that's, a, that's a little my bad <laughs> that's a little oh, i did that uh-oh and so then i threw it away and i got like a box of arm and hammer and i tossed it in there and i scrubbed the whole thing out and did I, you ever tell the truth no i told no yeah. one yeah I told, this is the first part this is the first time that i am telling wow. this to anyone you uh, see that was a mistake though sure James did his thing on purpose. Also a mistake. <laughs> I mean, you shouldn't have done it. It was a mistake in that sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, this uh, <laughs> this is a good point from McDougal. Imagine if this was this story was the absolute <laughs> worst thing that James had ever done. <laughs> no, this isn't the absolute worst thing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ramp up to the worst okay. things. This is one of the things that I can remember that was like that that was a bad thing that I did. Okay. I should not have done that. Are you gonna give more or are you saving them? Oh no, I'm saving them. Okay. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna waste them all. Yeah. I started very high. Uh, yeah, I don't <laughs> I don't wanna I don't wanna blow up almost killed a man. <laughs> <laughs> Clancy's got some juicy show. ones coming up. <laughs> I don't want I don't want to spoil it, but one of them rhymes with Schmeina Schmevan. <laughs> so use your imagination. Oh boy, yeah. Look, I did 9-11. That's Oh, that's you gave canon. it away! That's, no, that's already canon. <laughs> People have known about that for years. Yeah. Wag the dog was about me. Oh, that's being blocked. Oh, for good reason. I think your, your Twitch channel <laughs> no, will get taken not, it's down. it's not being blocked on the actual stream. It's just being Parts blocked from what you can see. Everybody can see it. Everybody sees it. Everybody sees it. <laughs> <laughs> Clancy actually set up an easel on the day and painted that live. <laughs> yeah. 20, were, 21 years <laughs> ago. <laughs> they were on top of the Chrysler building. You were like five? Yeah. <laughs> I was about to turn six. Yeah, you were so diabolical, and you were like, "I was a look. I was a little freak, a little naughty. <laughs> I, was a, I was a naughty little fucker." <laughs> so, what do we think, uh, James? Uh, still a bad boy? Guilty. I think that he likes the girl, and I think he was just trying to flirt. But okay, but that doesn't make the <laughs> actions okay. It does because love you... conquers all. <laughs> You are setting a dangerous precedent <laughs> <laughs> with what is an acceptable form of flirting. All right, let's see. Let's let's spin this sucker. Oh shit! It's the big time cash money zone. Oh shit! Yes. Uh, you gotta go and here. Oh here, big time cash money zone. Was this wet here spot we on the couch before I sat down? No, that was definitely you. You definitely did that. I wonder if there might be a hole in your water bottle. Well, all three of us, here. all three of us sat here, so it definitely wasn't there early. Okay, uh, here I have a uh, one billion dollar bill. Ooh. They here, I'll I'll get it real close to the camera. Okay. Okay. Whoa! One billion dollar bill. This is totally legal tender. You can see on on there that it says totally legal tender. So. It's yeah. got the watermark and yeah, everything. Look for the watermarks. Yeah. I, I, this is this is real. This is a real one billion dollar bill. It's Garfield. <laughs> it's the watermark on the one billion. So, uh, President Garfield? No. Oh. No. No. Like Monday's, Monday's Garfield. Yeah. Was on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Garfield. So for one billion dollars, what 
I just You've got so it nervous. It was what? so weird. I just like for suddenly one... started sweating. <laughs> for one, for one billion dollars, what is the best pizza topping? Wait, is this a buzz in situation? Ooh. Uh, Jenna already got it. Jenna. Go, go, go. Oh god! Why you can't you buzz, buzz in if you don't have the answer? <laughs> I'm buzz. Gonna have to... I'm gonna have to do a count. Buzz pairs, pairs, pairs is wow. the best. I've, pizza. I, I've heard the craziest thing I've ever heard. All right, it goes, I've never had pizza before. <laughs> it goes to Riley. Pepperoni. Pep. I mean, pretty good. Pretty good. Pepperoni. Beat it, James. Um, I like to put macaroni and cheese on my pizza. Ooh. With hot sauce. That does sound good. It's really good. I'm going to keep the billion dollars for myself. God damn and it. Then I like to put That's vinegar fair. on it, too. Yeah. yeah I'm God. Gonna that. Are you, you get British? A point for that? Gonna, that? Are you British? You can't no, get the billion just, dollars and the point. That's what I like. Uh, no, I like <laughs> all three. I do an ancestry. Point. Point. We can all have a point. Okay. Everybody can get a point. Except for me, because I have a billion dollars. I have two. <laughs> <laughs> add five minutes. Here we go. Add Everybody add five minutes Fun. on the clock. Oh, Jenna did. Oh, that's right, because Wolfgang Buck stole your gift bas- bag. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry about Wolfgang. He keeps doing this. Yeah, he blocked me, so I'm not surprised. He keeps he keeps doing this to us. Oh, I saw a big dog shirt, guys. I want to show you a big dog shirt that I saw. It says, listen here, bud. America deserved 9 11. Really good. Hell yeah, oh dude. Oh, my God. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> stop the clock. Oh, everyone stop the clock. Bonk. Stop the clock. And. Here we go, mail time. Whoa. Time for mail. We got a little. We got a little bit of mail. When it comes, 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 I want a whale. Mail! All right, let's get into it. We're gonna read a little bit of fan mail Love here. Love fan mail. We got some fan mail. Uh, this one is from uh, Capital One. Big fans of the show, Capital One. Mm-hmm. Me, Day one supporters. Going, really? They've been they've been here the whole time. Real heads. Uh, let's see. Start here to see what you could save. Stand, scan the QR code with your phone, yeah. camera, or visit CapitalOne.com slash refi offer and enter access code 72814010. Offer expires December 31st, uh, 2021. Get it. Get, get it? Get yeah, it. Really yeah. got it. There it is. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Go ahead and peek at your offer. Oh, it's just uh, a dick pic. Take a peek at your. <laughs> go ahead, take a peek at your. Is that is is that supposed to be a holiday, a Christmas pun? Go ahead, take a peek at your offer. There's a <laughs> there's a picture of a Christmas present, and it says, "Go ahead, take a peek at your offer." Well, I guess people say like, "No peeking." Like, take a. I, that seems. That okay, yeah, no, that designer should be fired. That seems why that, that why, unpaid intern that made that should be why fired. refinance with Capital One, see your monthly payment and total savings without hurting your credit score. Okay. No prepayment penalty fees okay. if you decide to pay off your loan early. That's what's the deal with that? If you charge a fee to get your money sooner, fucking yeah. suck my dick. Yeah. Suck my dick. I'm Call us at eight four four. Three eight nine six nine oh three. Hey, six nine. Classic. Don't read the fans' phone number on air. Sorry, you're doxing oh, Capital man. One. Sorry. Good point. Freaking yeah, Emily the... Pineapple and McDougal are about to be yeah. harassing these people. Yep. Here we go. This is from Ooh Anonymous. Anonymous, oh. big fans of the show. Make these holidays the holidays you've always wanted. Limited time offer inside. It's kind of like uh... they they hacked your personal information. They they might have. Yeah. They might have. Uh, let's see. This one says uh, Lending Club. There we go. Lending Ooh. Club. Big fans of the show. Nice. Everyone wants to give me money these days. <laughs> oh, it's Lending Money. Yeah, everyone. And, no, they're, <laughs> they're going to lend me their DVD <laughs> copy yeah. well, that's good. <laughs> of Saving Private Ryan. Cool. Uh, I mean, a cup of sugar. Yeah, like if you don't have that copy anymore. Because yeah, the new. Is mm-hmm. That is true. I lost, I lost my copy of Saving Private Ryan. And that's a don't want that. Okay, this one is from 100 Stomping uh, tri- Triceratops. What? 100 Stomping Triceratops. Big fans of the show. Cool. Mm. It's a bunch of it's a bunch of Stomping Triceratops. What? Right there. Uh, oops. 
really that do, Dom. was your address. Oh. That was your address. Now well, I'm this not the is only on the idiot internet. who's giving this out their address the and internet. phone number but repeatedly all, on this I show. Can't believe that hasn't already <laughs> happened during this segment. You've just <laughs> put your fucking uh, ooh, it tastes up good. to the screen. Well, how else is it going to send fan mail? I was tired. Whatever. Nobody's gonna. <laughs> you're gonna get pillaged ever. tonight. This is <laughs> this is an eccentric map of the USA. We're just gonna move on. Yeah. <laughs> gonna, I'll fix it in post. Mm, pop off in the chat if you're gonna yeah. pillage Clancy. Someone know. screenshot <laughs> that real quick. Oh no! Let the pillaging begin. Just hit that back 15 <laughs> seconds a couple times. Oh. Take some screenshots. <laughs> This is an eccentric map of the USA featuring towns that actually exist. Including the one where Clancy lives. <laughs> including, <laughs> at. including my specific street address. That's Are so tight, there? dude. <laughs> You're going to get fucking murdered by one of these psychos. You're all gonna... I love oh, it. Man. No, Lubot look, is going to the... kick down the fucking door. <laughs> Here's the thing. Most of these people already have my address, so dude, Emily Pineapple's true. in a sniper's nest across the street. <laughs> Emily right Pineapple, now. good shot. I would not. <laughs> the scary part is seeing the numbers of viewers go down because they're like coming here, <laughs> yeah. like they got off their computer. They, they got in the car. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's there, look. There's a town called uh, Monkey's Eyebrow in Kentucky. Really? <laughs> yeah. That is. Fun. There's a, ooh, there's a town called Smooth Town in Ontario. Okay, ooh, that's not in America. What are you? What are you from? Smooth Town? Ooh, Smooth <laughs> Town, Ontario, over here. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> uh, there's there's a uh, uncomfortable amount of fear deep inside of me. I, say, I can see you trying to recover this segment. Whatever. Oh, but All right, look, fuck it. <laughs> we got to get rid of boy court because there's too person. much information going out that we can't put out. <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, I think y'all are like uneven footing now. Yeah. <laughs> let's spend oh, all... boy. All right, let's <laughs> start the clock. <laughs> start it. Bing. Start it. Get start this shit it going. Start the clock. And uh, I wonder what How is there only one more be? segment left? What is it? Oh, we we're just we powered through them today. Oh, it's wow, happening. we know who are your guys? No lock the gates. No, no, no gate locking <laughs> this week. Oh, I mean, we could talk about our guys if we want. <laughs> All right, hey, this is this is the, our top ten segment. I do love this segment. Just though. like, uh, just like what David Letterman's used to do, except for uh, we better. We don't we don't have writers. Uh, it's just us. It's just us, and so we're just we just write it sort of on the spot as a as a team. Oh yes. Uh, okay. So this uh, from our uh, home office in uh, Branson, Missouri. Uh, th this week's top ten uh, is uh, Christmas movie top ten Christmas movies of history. Ooh, okay. Ooh. James, go first. Oh, okay. Um, mine would probably be uh, Mary Poppins. Oh, okay. because I I got that VHS for Christmas one year, like around Christmas. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that works. I don't. I don't, I don't have any qualms with that. Do you have any qualms? Two spoons of not a qualm. <laughs> not a qualm to be found on this boy. Okay, number nine coming from me. Uh, I watched recently the movie Home Sweet Home Alone. <laughs> oh, is that the one with the other kid? Yeah, no, it's the mo it's the most recent entry um, in the Home Alone universe. Um, All star cast: Andy Daly's in there. Really? Ashling B is in there. Pete Holmes is in there. No. Uh, Rob Delaney. <laughs> Is yes. in like no. these poor talented people. All, all star cast. <laughs> uh, just a mess. Uh, what's her name? Who played Kimmy Schmidt? Yeah, mm -hmm. Ellie Semper. Uh, yeah, Ellie Kemper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh man, great. Uh, just great cast. Real mess of a movie. Kemper five is number nine. I thought Christian Bale played Kimmy Schmidt. <laughs> <laughs> Another method role. <laughs> 
in his oeuvre. I do want to say in in this movie they like tried to like uh like humanize and uh make like the the bad guys the mm. the thieves they had they like told the thieves story and it was like mm. they were gonna lose their house and so oh, they god were, and then they had Capitalism this doll that went missing again. that they thought the little kid stole and so they were trying to steal back this doll oh, was the whole geez. thing but then even though they went to all that trouble of humanizing they still put them through <laughs> all of the like fucking all the like booby trap bullshit so now you're like watching seven the rings of hell kind of like a little bit and you feel sorry for also get the shit kicked out of them. What a whiff. <laughs> Such sucks. a mistake. That sucks. Oh man, it's oh. that's real. It's, it's a real mess. Sorry, uh, I it's made top number, nine, number nine on the <laughs> list. Um puts me at eight. That puts you at eight. I'm gonna say uh cool runnings. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't think there's a Christmas scene in it, but it's snowy yeah, and bobsleds. Yeah, it's snowy and John Candy's in it, which makes it a Christmas gonna, oh, movie. Oh yeah, mm. I love that movie. I mm. think it counts. Yeah, mm. Jenna. Uh, well, this is like a little bit of a stretch, I guess, by the definition of movie, but it's a two-part um, episode. <laughs> the the Zapruder Wait. film. <laughs> Wait. See, I thought you the, were gonna go. This is a little bit of a stretch in terms of like Christmas movies. Oh no, <laughs> you went a bit of a stretch in terms of movies. Yeah, the Timothy McVeigh execution. <laughs> no, no, no. It's the two-part E special of Kim Kardashian marrying Chris Humphries. Oh, oh. Um, that's yeah, it's very classic Hollywood, and there's a lot of white in it. So, I, like when I watch it, I think of Christmas. Sure. Um, and also like it's like the gift of love. Even like, Aww. but it's only like instead of like twelve days of Christmas, it's only like seventy-two days of marriage. Yeah. Until wait, did they get? And, yeah, like, they get divorced after seventy-two days. Yeah. That counts wow. as Christmas. Yeah. I mean, if if the ghost of Christmas present from up its Christmas Carol is to believed. Wherever you find love, mm -hmm. it feels like Christmas. Mm -hmm. So, so I like to watch that every every year. Yeah, yeah. yeah good tradition. Good James, Pokemon Snap. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think we need any further explanation. All right. <laughs> Was that a seven six six? I'm five. Yeah. Five golden yeah. rings, baby. Mm -hmm. Five golden rings. Uh, that speaking, I of, did. That was Christmas Pokemon Snap. Okay. I, I look. I wasn't questioning you. Good. All right. Good. Number five is uh, the Disney Marvel film Shang Chi and the Ten Rings. Is there Christmas in that? No. Okay. No. Cool. Uh, in fact, quite the opposite. Word. And by that I mean there's no there's no Christmas no. in it. <laughs> there's no cool. Christmas in it. There's a dragon in it. Yeah. Sorry, spoilers. There's the, the the oh I'm about to spoil everything in Shang Chi and the Ten Rings. <laughs> Ooh boy, there's a bus scene. They do a fight on a bus, and then Aquafina has to like drive the bus. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and then they fight. They fight. They do it. They have a dragon at the end, and they fight like a a demon, uh, like a Cthulhu monster from another realm. And they beat the fuck out of that sucker. They beat Hell him up yeah. good. Hell yeah. They beat him up so good. And Blade is in the post credit sequence. And Blade is in the post credit yeah, sequence. Tight. And he uh he uh, chops the one guy's hand off. Yeah. Hmm. Good movie. Number four? <laughs> Number four, uh, I'm gonna say WrestleMania thirteen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. The uh Bret Hart versus Stone Cold Steve Austin sure. in the main event. I mm -hmm. love Stone Cold. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Man, I love Stone Cold. That the the ooh actually Stone Cold update uh I showed mm. do you I, have I a graphic bought, for that I bought a I bought a folk I I bought a, a uh, bootleg Stone Cold Steve Austin shirt on Etsy and the and he came to your house and kicked your ass <laughs> <laughs> Austin three sixteen just whooped my ass yeah uh but he you uh, said it uh it was the, the top of the graphic was cut off and so I messaged them on Etsy and they're replacing it. They're oh, sending me another one. That's awesome. Nice. Great. What are you gonna do? Two shirts. Yeah. Now, now I have, and I think I'm gonna wear the bad one yeah. more often. Yeah. Because, like there's a story in it. Nice. Love it. Lovely. Um. Number three. Number three. Uh, Shrek. Yeah. Just the first one. Yeah. The regular one. First you, one. There's a Chris. There's a Shrek Christmas special. No, that one's, that one's sucks, trash. Though. It really does. Yeah, suck. like they were really going for something and they failed yeah. at it. It was too cash grab. Um, yeah, yeah. Cynical. Real horse and pony. What'd you call it? Oh, fucking dog and pony. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Why are they together? Why is there a dog and a pony? And why? Are, what are they doing? It's a dog. They they like hang out. The dog chases the pony around, and the yeah. pony goes. Nyeh! It's a it's a police procedural. It's that kind of show. Mm. Oh, yeah. dog, dog and pony <laughs> show. Yeah, good pony, bad dog. Yeah. Yeah. Pony is by the books. Oh and yeah, dog is a real loose cannon. Exactly. <laughs> On the streets, they call him Big Dog. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The theme. Oh, oh, what is? Ah. Get that <laughs> James, number two. This was a really big Christmas movie for me. I never saw it in theaters, and when Christmas was rolling around, I was like, "Just buy it for me on DVD." Mm-hmm. It was freshman year of high school, and I will always remember that Christmas. It's Napoleon Dynamite. Hell yeah! Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was, yeah. What a treat! I know. Great soundtrack too. Plus, Just, Speaking of ligers, putting that DVD hello. in, yeah. so right. fun. Napoleon mm. Dynamite, hell yeah! Mm. Oh, I've got all the pressure this week. It's mm. got a great fucking soundtrack. Yeah. Fucking Jamiroquai. I should watch that again. I I would, would, yeah. 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 Also, the promise. And how I'm dragon trapped on yellow saddle town. That's yeah. my Jamiroquai impression. My son, I'm reading. Yep. It's good. All right, number one it's Christmas good that that movie is uh. Drum roll. Die Hard. I will be taking no questions. No, Muppets Christmas, never, Christmas never, Carol. I've never seen it. Never seen You've it. You've never seen Die Hard, James? Nope. Hold me back. Jenna, hold me back. <laughs> hold me back. Okay. Okay. Muppet, Muppet Christmas Carol. Muppet, Muppet Christmas Carol is also very good. That's also, such a fake, it's just like such a basic like BuzzFeed article answer. Yeah, that. I mean, that's why I chose it. Oh. Mm-hmm. I, I expected it better for you. I'm a stinker. I <laughs> like to be a stinker. We're all disappointed. Mm-hmm. I, watched, I watched Jingle All the Way today. That's fun. It's Might as well good. tell me you like, uh, I was gonna call him yeah, Tim, Tim Curry. Tim Curry is Santa Claus. <laughs> Tim Curry is Santa Claus. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it seems I've murdered Saint Nick. <laughs> what? What were you even trying to? Tim Allen Santa Claus. <laughs> Tim Curry. <laughs> I've murdered Father Christmas. Tim Burton's. <laughs> Tim. Oh, no, that's the movie I want to see. Oh, oh. Oh, boy. oh boy! Look, oh, boy. but also he's—it's not allowed to be like Tim he, he doesn't get to direct it. He has to be the Santa Claus. Has Tim Robinson has <laughs> has Tim Burton and Tim Tim's Allen ever been in the same room at the same time? How many, how many Tibs are there in the world? <laughs> Tim's fucking you know shout top, out in the chat. Top, movies, top 10 Tim's. Top 10 of Tim's. Top 10 Tim's of history. Rack them up. Uh, how about Timbuktu? Yeah. How about Timber? Oh. You got Timber Lake. Mm-hmm. Timber uh, Land. Tim, yeah. uh, Tim Grimson. This Timson Bimber. <laughs> yeah. Tim. Did Wait, did we not all read the uh, child, the classic children's book? Tim Grimson, the Stimson Vimper, yeah. as a child? I'm Clancy. I know how to read. Yeah, really oh, look at me. Yeah. Honestly, really rude. Ooh, I, I know how to read books. I'll Stupid. just open up the books and read the words with my eyeball. Riley brings up a good point. Riley brings up another good point. Those are two separate points. You can read in your asshole. I open the book up and I put it in my face. I read books. I read books. Nerd. I read books. All right, that pretty much uh, Great wraps show. <laughs> pretty much wraps up the show. Uh, wait, I have to just this real quick. <laughs> Time, time's up. Uh, let's see. How many? How many points does everybody have? I had three, two. I had three or four. Bullshit. <laughs> no, three tops. I had four I think at least. We all had two. I had two. Well, you stopped giving them out. You know what? I'm going to give you two and you get six. 
and uh, I'm gonna take <laughs> two away from you because you lied. You're a liar. Okay. You definitely only had three. You this tried to you tried, the... you tried to pretend that you had four. This so is I'm still the best I've ever done. Taking, <laughs> taking an extra one away from you. Jenna Jenna wins the shit wheel. That doesn't mean you'll have to come back for the. Uh, <laughs> The tournament, of, tournament champions. of champions. And at this point, uh, it does seem as though we're going to have at least 15 people in that tournament. So be prepared for that. Do a top 10 with that. At any... Too many people. Yeah, too many people. Too many people. Too many... We'll probably do it like bracket style. It'll be a whole thing. Anyway, uh, that to it. wraps that up. You got plug. Uh, hey, plug, plug. Um, I like to plug my plug. Um, thanks, Steve. Uh, and, um, <laughs> no. <laughs> That was stupid. Uh, you can listen to my Bachelor podcast, Date Card Pod, at Date Card Pod on Instagram, and Jenna with a Smile for Twilight. Basically, just Twilight. Like, I cry, and then I also talk about Twilight. That's pretty oh, much no. it that I do on Jenna with a Smile. I mean, what else are you going to do? Yeah, that's basically it. True. I didn't think of anything else. Mm-mm, no. Riley, you want to... I'll be at Madison Square Garden January 3rd through 28th. MSG. Yeah. MSG. Uh, <laughs> two shows, uh, uh, early show and a late show, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and a matinee on Sunday. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. Matinee. I'm doing a residency. Doing a, doing a little brunch show? Yeah. And um, uh, announce, uh, or I guess public service announcement to Hottest Goss uh, viewers, you guys got to um, you gotta wipe more. <clears throat> <laughs> you're not you listen you're not if you're watching the show you're not wiping your butt enough and everyone can smell it except for you wow. you gotta what you gotta wipe more you wow. gotta what you gotta if there's still you can still see brown on it oh, you haven't wiped enough if That's you can see the brown wipe it down you gotta keep wiping mm-hmm. until there's nothing or red because and then, then wipe really... and then keep wiping until yeah. there's red yeah gotcha. and that's red yeah. means stop mm-hmm. brown right. means go and if you have an <laughs> issue with, if you're a modern day pagan or Wiccan, and something I said was culturally insensitive, you can tweet at me. Um, what's my Twitter at, handle? Uh, Riley McCarthy sixty nine. Yeah, you can tweet, and I'll totally, I'll see it, and I'll read it. He'll see it. He checks it every day. Yeah, <laughs> checking it nonstop. Uh, <laughs> look, uh, hey folks, we got a friggin' Patreon, uh, and look. It's uh, there. There's some stuff over there that you're probably you'll you'll like it. You'll like it. You'll like it. You'll like for it. For the price like of the a stuff. cup of coffee. For the for the price of a cup of coffee, you could uh, give me one dollar every month. Look at that. That's all. Literally one dollar every month. Mm-hmm. Come on. Come on. You, you can't can afford it. not to. You can do it. And also, we're one thing away from uh, me and James having to do a telethon. And we have not set any like rules or standards as to what counts as a telethon. It's gonna be very good though. It's probably gonna be uh, too long, and uh, we're gonna hate it by the end of it. Oh boy! Yeah. What's your Patreon? Is it just called Patreon.com/slash The Board Castle? Hold up, I gotta log in. Oh man! Well, folks, folks, we're here to announce the. It sounds like it sounds like we might there might be a telethon in our future. Uh, tune back in next week. We got a big dumb holiday special. We're gonna be making a zine, and uh, it's uh, too too much. It's what, gonna be too much. It's board castle. The board castle. We're only board thirty castle. away from getting armor. That is true. Also, at yeah. uh, fifty <laughs> patrons, we have to buy suits of armor and wear them on the show yep. and also i have to release my hulu login credentials yep so that everyone oh, yeah. can use well them. that and the address they're gonna be real set Did I spell yeah, this right? they'll, they'll for be, a dollar they'll be all set for spell? a dollar how do you spell for a dollar you could have my hulu login credentials d-o-r-e-d-c-s-t-l-e uh riley's gonna do that and we're gonna uh say uh, pour hot tea all over your legs and feet <laughs> let's start Let's actually, I was thinking about it, and I think we should start the show. Should we?